Hey there YouTube, BipolarBeer here. Um, I'm going to be recording my second gameplay commentary, but uh, this time I decided to talk more about uh, myself instead of the gameplay. Um, one quick note, in this gameplay, uh, my ally got killed off the start, and so I had to, um, well pretty much I had to play the game on my own. He was uh, floating around his buildings, but he didn't do too much. Okay, so um, I live in Canada actually, I live in British Columbia and city of Victoria, which is on Vancouver Island. Um, I love living here, um, it's really great weather actually. It's sunny today, sunny-ish, it was raining but it rains a lot but never too bad. Um, next is um, what I like to watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first thing that got my attention was um, Hutch, Hutch's channel, and uh, well, he does comment or well, Call of Duty commentary, and uh, that was a big thing, I guess. It was he um he's he was one of the big people off the start, and so uh, well, obviously I noticed his videos because they were enormous, and I really liked his commentary. I was well, I wasn't too big of a fan of the gameplay, like. To me, it wouldn't really matter if he was good or not, just because his commentary was so great. Um, but yeah, then I started watching some... I think it was Trump next. And I saw some of Trump's videos. I liked his gameplay, but his commentary wasn't... Well, <laughs> I don't mean this to be mean to uh, Trump if he any, ever watches this, but his commentary wasn't quite as... Uh, quite as interesting as Hutch's commentary. But, um... Then I started watching C-Nanners. He's really big now, actually, but I started watching him right off the start. And I think the reason he's so big is because his commentary is completely unique. Like, it's not like anything else you'll find. He also does some pretty weird stuff, but... Meh, that's, that's not really what makes me so interested. Um, next, I'm going to talk about my gaming history. So, when I was a kid, my uncle... Well, kid, I should probably say. I am 15 now, turning 16 in the summer. Um, but when I was probably five or something, my uncle shipped me a original PlayStation for Christmas, and we were actually never allowed to use it, or at least not very often at all, because um, gaming rots your brain, according to parents. So yeah, the PlayStation never really got used that much. Um, sometimes it would be brought out like one day a year, and that'd be like that weird day where people would play video games, and like even my mom. But yeah, otherwise we didn't really pull out the PlayStation much at all. Then we got a PlayStation 2 sometime, and we used that a bit more, but the rules were pretty firm. I guess the PlayStation 2 was probably when I was 10 or 11, but uh, about the rules, um, I was only ever allowed to use it on weekends, if that, and there'd usually be like one hour of game time or something like that, so still a rotting of the brain. Um, yeah, so then... I ended up, uh, well, I had a good friend who had a Xbox, he bought one, and so this was when uh, Halo 2 was really popular, so I went over to his house once and I played Halo 2. I ended up getting kind of good at it because this, this friend was a good friend of mine, so I ended up playing a lot of Halo 2, and um, yeah, I ended up liking it quite a lot, so talking to my parents, I ended up um, convincing them to let us get an Xbox 360, which was a big step because... Um, Generally, uh, gaming was really not something that happened in my household that much, but getting the Xbox 360 was completely insane. Like, my brother asked for it a few months earlier, and my mom said no, so not quite sure what made her change her mind. I think it was the big idea. I remember back back in the time with Halo, there was all this machinima coming out and all the great videos. I think she wanted us to make videos like those, which was... um. You know, that was cool, but, um, it never really happened until now. I mean, now I'm just getting my HD PVR, so that'll be coming in sometime. But, um, yeah, I'm just making some StarCraft videos, but none of the Machinima stuff. These are just commentaries. Um, but yeah, uh, in terms of the Machinima, I was really interested in it, but it never ended up working out because it didn't have anything to record with. Uh, at one point, I did get a Dazzle, and it was pretty good. It was at about a hundred bucks at the time. Uh, it must have been thirteen, maybe f nah, thirteen. I'd say, maybe twelve. I don't know, thirteen or twelve. 
and um, the dazzle was I guess it was good but I got it from future shop and I'm pretty sure it was pre-opened and I don't know what it was but it made my laptop blue screen and so uh, yeah pretty much I couldn't use it at all so I returned it and that was the end for a long time until uh, recently I got well not that recently but I got a job a few summers ago and I made some money a decent amount of money and it ended up buying uh, my own computer which is a quad core it's really nice I'm just gonna say that it's a good computer so now I'd be able to run a dazzle for sure but I also I'm getting the hapog so um, that's gonna be good too so um, yeah anyways back to the Xbox 360 with the 360 we got Halo 3 because you know that was the big game at the time it was a bit out it well I don't know I'd say it was I think it was a year after the release something like that so um it wasn't very new it was new to me because I never really gamed that much at all but yeah um hmm. now I'm gonna go on to my favorite games I guess uh probably my favorite modern game with like good graphics and stuff would be the original Mass Effect that game is amazing I must say uh really really well made the storyline is completely epic uh... what else can i say the voice acting is pretty good i love this well pretty much they say there's decision making and then people complain that really your decisions don't make a difference in the end and i don't really mind if they don't make that big of a difference i can still be nice to somebody or be mean if i feel like it but i always tried being mean in video games but it ended up making me feel like a dick so i just stopped um... but yeah then, you know, game before that, I'd say, on the PS2, uh, I remember renting from a video store, the original Final Fantasy X, I think, and you know, after I rented it, this was like one night my brother went to a friend's house, so I was like, man, I'm gonna have to have something to do, so I rented Final Fantasy X, and I ended up falling in love with it, pretty much. I'd never heard of the series before, so I thought the X was like... Final Fantasy Extreme or something like that instead of just 10, like a 10th game in the series. So I guess it's been going on for a long time, but I never followed any of the previous games because I never had a Nintendo DS or something like that, Nintendo Color. But um, yeah, that game was great. I ended up playing it probably for like 9 hours the night I got it, and then, you know, the rest of the weekend for a while. We ended up buying it, and um, I could just say right now, Final Fantasy is a really great game. It was, uh, what 